Hi all, welcome back to Auto 17 development tutorial. Today, in this video, let us discuss about how to configure and use GitHub from PyCharm. PyCharm allows you to manage Git project hosted on your GitHub account and also helps to clone the repository, share the project and commit a code and also to push and put prospectively. So let's check how to configure and use GitHub from PyCharm. For that, First of all, we need to configure a GitHub account in our uh, system. And uh, here you can see that I've configured uh, my GitHub account that is CyberDev in my system. After doing so, I'm going back to the PyCharm. And in the PyCharm, we need to add the GitHub account in the PyCharm. So for that, uh, here you can see the file menu. And inside the file menu, here you can see the settings. And in the settings, here you can see the version control. And inside the version control, you can see the GitHub. And on clicking the GitHub here, you can see that we can add the GitHub account here. Finally, there is no GitHub account. And on clicking the add account button, you can uh, you will get options like uh, login via uh, GitHub or login via uh, login with the token, login in the uh, GitHub enterprise, like that. So we can choose that login with uh, GitHub. And you can see that it has been redirected to a, another page that is account.jetbrains and here you can through this page we can authorize uh, in github you can authorize in github account and here you can see that on clicking the authorize in github account you will be able to you can get a message that is you have been successfully authorized in the github you can close this page so if we go back to the python here you can see that uh, we have all uh, configured the our uh, that is our uh, github account that is cyber order deals to the github and after that we can just click uh, ok button and at the bottom here you can see the gate and uh, to get the gate or the, there is a shortcut to get gate that is uh, alt plus 9 so uh, alt plus 9 you can see the gate can be seen or the uh, you can see the log of our gate and here you can see the current brand can be seen and also the uh, here you can see the commit lo uh, local changes can also be seen here and here you can see the select commit to view changes and also the commit details can be seen here. Since there is no commit, you can not be able to see the commit changes cannot be seen here. And uh, here at the above, here you can see the git menu. And in the git menu, here you can see the commit, push, uh, update, de de update, project, pull, clone, etc. So uh, we need to clone the repository within the file chat. So initially, first of all, we are going to clone my repository within the Python. For that, we need to create our own repository in our Git. So let's go to the Git. And in the Git, here you can see that I have created my own report that uh, you can search. That is, I have created my own Git here. You can see that custom repos. So here you can see that I've created my own report here. Uh, and I need to add this uh, repository to the report to the uh, github so for that we need to go to the uh, PyCharm to the git menu and here we need to clone so I'm clicking the clone here you can see the uh, we can clone the uh, clone our report to the PyCharm so here you can see that the github cyber order dev on clicking it here you can see uh, it is currently loading and here you can see a number of repository inside the site draw order they can be seen here. And on clicking, uh, so let's search our repo that is uh, custom repo. So here you can see my repo that is custom repos. And here I'm selecting and just clicking on the clone. And here you can see that now it is has been cloned. You can see that uh, it has been cloned here. And it has been redirected to a new Python or new window. So here you can see the uh, module. I uh, have already created one uh, branch inside the custom repo. Uh, that is auto 70. And here you can see that uh, the uh, one module that uh, that I updated inside the auto 70. It has been cloned here. And at the bottom here you can see the uh, git button also. On clicking the git button here you can see that uh, here you can see the log messages can be seen and the current branches here and the commit message so on clicking the different commit message here you can see the commit changes and also the commit details can be seen here 
and if you check here you can see that i'm having uh currently i know only one branch it should have number of branches and then here you can see all the branches and all their uh commit changes can be seen here so here you can see the uh commit given i have given and that is uh here you can see the first commit that is add i've given the add and here you can see the files here so to which file i have given the commit can be seen all the files can be seen and also here you can see the commit details or can be seen here so uh let's uh add one of my module to the uh git through pycharm so for that i'm going to the file manager here you can see the pycharm pr object or clicking here you can see the my module that my repo that is custom repo and here you can see the module that is tips and tricks can be seen here so i'm going to add a new module to this uh to my git so i'm going to add a new module uh, so i'm going to take a module from auto 70 uh, let me take college management and i'm going to add it to my repo so here i'm going to add it to the repo and if we check the Python here, here you can see that inside the repo, the new module that is college management has been added. So uh, I'm going to commit it now. So let me commit it. I'm clicking the commit. So here you can see that there is an another shortcut to commit that is control K. And to push, you can just give control shift K. So I'm going to commit. And on clicking the commit here, you can see the commit changes can be seen. So uh, here you can see uh, the commit changes can be seen. It's all uh, modules needed to commit can be seen. So here you can see, you can select the modules here. Uh, the All the modules you needed can be selected here. So you need, I'm selecting all modules. And if you need, uh, if you are selecting all modules, then just click here. Then all modules will be selected or all files can be selected. And after doing so here, here at the bottom, I'm just giving the commit message that is add college management and after the committing i'm just clicking the commit button here and you can see that the commit college management has been done so here you can see that the commit college management has been done a moment ago and here you can see the commit files can be seen here and after committing let's push it to the github so for that let's go to push and here you can see that uh, to where or to the origin auto 70 you can see the uh, we are going to push it so here you can see the files can be seen and if we click the push button so it is updating the changes is updating now and here you can get the message that push one commit to the OB, uh, to the auto 70 so if we check the uh, git here you can see that the college management has been pushed so this is how we configure and use GitHub in Odoo 17. Thank you.